In this video we are going to learn how to create a frequency table in SPSS. A frequency table gives us a summary of a categorical variable that we have. To create a frequency table we will go to the menu and click on Analyze. Analyze will do all of the statistical calculations that we want in SPSS. We will go down to Descriptive Statistics and then Frequencies. We want to create a frequency table for our variable work status. And work status was whether or not the individual is currently working or not. So we're going to put that over there. Um, these buttons give us different options for what will come out in our frequency table. If you click on statistics, you can see you can get quartiles, you can get the central tendency, such as the mean and median, the dispersion. This would be for quantitative variables, but because ours is categorical, we are not going to click in any of those. So we are just going to, oh, well, sorry, also you can create charts. But right now we're just going to get the basic frequency table. So we're going to click OK. And the output window comes up. As you can see, we have the frequency for the variable work status. This just gives us a summary of our data. Our N, which is our number of individuals, is 1,000, and we have zero missings. This means that for every individual that we have in our database, we have some value for their work status, which is a good thing. Um, okay, so we had coded the variable work status 0 as not currently working and 1 as currently working. In this first column, we can see that this says frequency. This is the absolute frequency, so this is the actual number of individuals in each category. We have 577 individuals that are not currently working and 423 individuals that are currently working. The next column percent is the relative frequency. So 57.7 of our individuals are working and 42.3 are not. Then this is the cumulative frequency. It just adds up the percent and we'll add to 100. Um, and so this is how you create a frequency table in SPSS.